Robin Hood halts trading the best Robin Hood alternatives. Okay, guys, we're going to talk about this whole Robin Hood fiasco and some of the alternatives you guys can switch to because Robin Hood has really, I think, rubbed a lot of its users wrong. But before I get into the video, guys, I want to share with you one of the reasons why I've been plugging Webull so much. You get four free stocks when you sign for Webull, open a brokerage account, and deposit at least $100 in each stock's value up to $1,600. Okay, guys, so uh, I got this uh, message on Robinhood today. So I usually don't trade much with Robinhood anyway, but I noticed a lot of people said they couldn't trade certain, they couldn't sell, um, they couldn't buy certain stocks like um, GameStop and uh, AMC. So as we can see here, it says, our mission to Robinhood is to democratize finance for all. We're proud to have created a platform that's helped everyday people from all backgrounds shape their financial futures and invest for the long term. We continuously monitor the markets to make changes when necessary. It says they are restricting transactions to position closing only, including AAL, AMC, BB, BBY, CTRM, EXPR, GME, COS, NAKED, NOK, SNDL, TR, and TRVG. So what is really going on here, guys? Well, let's get to the bottom of this and figure out exactly what's going on. I'm going to give you guys some awesome alternatives so what robin hood positioned themselves is they positioned themselves as a broker that was for the little guy so they were basically fighting against wall street you know back in the day for you guys that are haven't been investing for a while you basically had to pay money to trade stocks so you know most brokerages charged at least a couple bucks even some broken big brokerages like merrill lynch charged like twenty dollars a trade and that was basically a way to basically keep the little guy out to basically you know allow wall street allow the suits allow wealthy individuals to stay wealthy because let's be honest uh, no matter where you live in this world obviously you know we've got real estate and gold and bitcoin like this but traditionally stocks have been for the elite stocks are like the number one way to build your wealth so and as we can see here um we see that robin hood has actually changed. So Robinhood used the retail investor to get rich, and now Robinhood is looking at an IPO, and now they've turned their back on the same people that they were supposed to be fighting for. So here's an article in Input Mag says Robinhood sides with Wall Street, locks down AMC and GameStop trades. So what they've done is, it's literally they've used you know guys like us to get rich, and then after they got rich, they simply just side with other rich people on Wall Street because these short sellers. They have been crushing stocks for decades, basically borrowing the shares, selling the stock, making the stock price plummet. And then guys like you and me, we buy stocks in some of these companies, we actually like them. And then, for example, like a stock like Genius Brands, you know, even though the company has great content and stuff like that, it was like, why is the stock always going down? Well, it's because of these short sellers, you know, they put so much selling pressure on the market that they've been tanking these companies for years. And a lot of people have lost all of their life savings due to these short, these ridiculous short sellers. So what ended up happening was, is that a lot of retail investors like you and me, we, we hang out in Twitter, we hang out on Instagram, TikTok, uh, YouTube, of course, and even this uh, Reddit thread called Wall Street Bets. And people started fighting back. So what they started doing was, is they started saying, hey, you know, if Wall Street can sit back and short the shares and make stocks crash, let's all buy the stock and make it go up. So basically, that's what's been going on with this whole fiasco. You guys can check out some of my previous videos where I explain the short squeeze, um, you know, in depth. But basically, um, this is not against SEC regulations. This is just simply people like you and me meeting on social media and just sharing stock picks. It's, we're not breaking any laws. It's not illegal. Um, there isn't any real like, you know, the insider trading or anything. None of us work. We're not executives at any of these companies. We're not executives at GameStop. We're not executives at AMC theaters. So we're just saying, hey, you know, I think this company is cool. You should buy it. You know, that's people have been doing this for years where even Wall Street has been calling up, making phone calls back in the day where they you've seen uh, movies like uh, the Wolf of Wall Street, how they used to market stocks and people like that. So, you know, obviously people aren't really doing these things on the telephone anymore. They're basically using the Internet. So now what Robinhood has done is Robinhood has blocked the ability to buy these stocks, basically crashing the price. So let's go to look at a good example is AMC because that's one of the worst ones. So, guys, I'm actually subscribed to this really awesome um, Discord channel. It's called uh, The Well Squad, guys. You guys should really check it out. Uh, it's run by a guy named Chris Johnson. And basically, um, he recommended buying AMC stock. I believe it was like around the 15th or something like this. So shout out to Chris. 
really good recommendation. He just saw that basically it was kind of undervalued and, you know, they were probably going to survive the, the whole pandemic situation by, you know, raising debt and stuff like that, uh, raising shares. So he recommended the stock and then a lot of people piled into AMC stock and made a lot of money and a lot of people, you know, are out of work or, you know, struggling to pay their bills. And this really helped a lot of people. So then what Robinhood did is, you know, Robinhood ran out there and basically crashed this stock. So basically, you know, they said, hey, you can't buy it anymore. So now you have to, you can only sell it. So you can't buy it, but you have the option to sell it knowing that people are going to be like well oh i can't buy it anymore so i might as well just sell it so now the stock price has crashed so now the stock has lost like over 50 percent in just like one day so basically what this says is is that basically robin hood is for wall street robin hood is for the big money robin hood is not for the little guy they'll use the retail investor to make big money but after they've gotten what they need from us and they're about to go public ipo this year anyway it doesn't really matter. So guys, in this video, I'm going to give you guys three alternatives that you guys can use that will not block you from trading or anything crazy like that. Um, they're not so, uh, they're not as like, obviously some of these place, uh, some of these brokerages I'm going to recommend are mainstream, but I just think they're much better service than Robinhood. And one thing about Robinhood, they have the worst customer service ever. This is one of the reasons why I don't, really trade with them because they don't they don't have like live customer service they don't have phone customer service live email ch uh, live chat it's all like email and it takes them like three days to respond so you know Robinhood really is just terrible customer service in the first place and i'm not surprised they did a move like this because you know they have terrible customer service so let me give you guys the first one so the first one is webull guys so webull is my favorite stock trading app i use webull all the time it's amazing uh, it has a lot more things to offer than Robinhood. so it offers uh retirement accounts you can trade pre-market as early as four o'clock uh in the morning so um it has really good charting software like you can track stocks it's a great watch list feature and like i mentioned earlier you get four free stocks if you sign up so i would say that's probably the best uh, Robin Hood alternative for you guys um, who live in the United States I would say Webull is my top pick so then I'm gonna give you guys another alternative if you're like if you live outside of the United States and you're looking for another uh, good um, brokerage that accepts international uh, clients and that's first trade so first trade another Robin Hood alternative it's my second choice I prefer Webull personally but I think first trade has a lot of awesome things to offer they've been around for a long time and uh, they also have uh, a free promo as well you get a chance to win some free stocks um, they have you can open an international account so if you guys that do not live in the United States maybe you live in Europe something like that or you live in Asia and you're looking to trade stocks that are listed on the US exchange you can use first trade and of course um, free stock investing but has offers a lot more than uh, Robin Hood does and also has some really awesome reviews guys and then my third pick the one that I personally use for my long position is Fidelity so I know Fidelity is like uh, maybe some of you guys are saying oh you know they're hooked up with Wall Street but they're one of the brokerages I use them every day I haven't seen any halts um, on any of these stocks I traded GameStop uh, stock earlier um, on Thursday uh, J Thursday uh, January the 20th Eighth, as I'm recording this video so I didn't have any problems trading I haven't seen any restrictions from them so they're one of the bigger um, investment brokerages out here that isn't restricting their clients like Robinhood so those are my three um, alternatives to Robinhood I would say Webull uh, first trade and Fidelity Fidelity is, is like you're looking for a full service brokerage Webull is great if you're just looking for an immediate alternative to Robinhood. And then First Trade is a great Robinhood alternative if you live outside the United States. So, guys, that's it to wrap up this video. You know, I had to record this video because it's just really unfortunate to see um, that you, we don't live in a free market anymore. We, we say that a place like America is, is a capitalistic country where we, we believe in free markets and things like this. But the fact that these brokerages like Robinhood, knowing how many people use Robinhood as their sole brokerage and knowing how by basically halting trading and forcing people to sell how they're going to crash the company not just crash the stock and lose people money but the actual company itself you know is suffering because you know Wall Street short sellers are losing too much money like what does that have to do with anything like short selling shouldn't even it isn't even ethical anyway like you're you're borrowing shares and forcing you know people in these companies like AMC and GameStop you know there are real people that actually work there and they're really affected 
by the stock price. The stock price going up it not only benefits, you know, uh, people on Wall Street bets and people like you and me, but it benefits a lot of the people working at these companies. And to just basically force the stock price down because short sellers and hedge funds are losing money, it's just ridiculous, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed those Robin Hood alternatives. You guys can grab all of those links in the description below and make sure you sign up um uh under my links to get your free stocks so that's it until next time guys i hope you enjoyed this video um like i said check out those robin hood alternatives and smash the like button if you like this video and press the red subscribe button to receive more video updates from me be sure to grab my daily stock watch newsletter and check out my private discord chat as well where we talk more about stocks in general so that's it until next time guys take care